Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today is our, our topic is about discrimination and I will talk about Indian. You see, uh, maybe many of you never been in the Middle East, uh, never been maybe in Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or Emirat or Bahrain or Iraq or, 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 or. Islamic countries is the land of discrimination, literally. Human right does not exist. But nobody complain about how Muslims discriminate others. They complain only about others discriminating Muslims. As an example, you might hear a Muslim saying in America, Muslims are discriminated. How? Even Obama, when he made a law, for health insurance, he made an exception for the Muslims so they don't have to sign to it as, as a choice. You see how much they are treating them? Which is, for me, it's very offending because if we are always citizen, all citizens have the same law. But Obama the coward, as usual, he took advantage of his position as a president have the support of a bunch of liberals who they have no, their mind is, is lost. So they agreed that a certain kind of citizen, they don't have to sign to health insurance, which is a must, otherwise you might go to jail if you are a Muslim. And the plan is, many they don't, and they cannot afford to pay for it, so what they do, they will register themselves as Muslims, and this is how we can increase the number of Muslims in USA. This is discrimination against us in USA taking side with Muslims. Have you ever heard of a Muslim complaining? No? Okay. In India, they have a law where supposedly make a new category for citizenship. And that law is about immigrant. It's not about Muslims is about immigrants who they are not really from the country, including Christians, including even Hindus, who they are not from there. The second the Indian, they come with their law, right away, this law is discrimination. You know what, if we ask any Muslim, when the last time, you Muslims, you gave one Hindu a citizenship in your country, Indian, they work in Saudi Arabia by millions, literally by millions, I'm not exaggerating. Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, actually the one who built your country is the Indian. The roof you have in the top of you is done by Indian, Hindu Indian mostly. How many of them got citizenship? Zero. Zero. You work for 50, 40, 30, 20 years, doesn't matter how many years you live in Saudi Arabia. You will never be a citizen. Why? Because you are a Hindu. So how come if the Indian, they say, if you are not from this country, <laughs> We have too much population. We cannot even feed our children. We want to reduce the population. Go back where you came from. They are racist, but you who have empty land. I mean, Saudi Arabia can take hundreds of millions and still the country is empty. They have the wealth. They have the money. They have the oil. They have the land. Yet, not a single Hindu became a citizen. Why? Because they are Hindus. A Pakistani, he can be a, can be a Saudi. They give citizenship to, to Pakistani. If you go to Bahrain, you will find that now, right now more than 10% of the population, they are from Pakistan because the king of Bahrain trying to adjust the balance between the Shia and the Sunni. The Shia are the majority. So what he's doing? He's bringing Muslim Sunni from Pakistan. Why you don't bring from India? 
you have a lot of Hindu work in, 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 in Bahrain, give them citizenship. No, we want Muslim Sunni. Not a single Hindu will get citizenship. Here we see the hypocrisy of the media. Speaking about Muslim being discriminated in India. The Indian are bad people. The Hindu are ugly, disgusting. Look what they are doing, discriminating us. More millions of Hindu, by the way, killed by the Islamic occupation. Nobody speak about it. But if you ask now about the white man enslaving uh, the black man, everybody, volunteer would talk about it right away. You know, we, you know, we deny that. We, do not, we cannot deny such a thing. But why we deny what happened to the Indian and the Hindus? Why we don't say that when they built Taj Mahal, they brought a lot of Hindus and they cut their hands after they finished the job? Why we don't say how many got killed by Muslims invasion from Afghanistan, from Kashmir, from, 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 where, where, what happened to history? Why it disappear? And why nobody want to apply the equality of law? If you ask a Muslim, how many citizens there are non-Muslims in Saudi Arabia? It will say zero. Emirat, Bahrain, Kuwait, like there's a very small tiny minority of Kuwait, they are citizen, you know, they are Christians, not Hindus, Hindus are zero, there's no, Emirat, you know, the, the, the prince of Emirat, supposedly he is a smart between the Muslims, so he said to the Hindus, okay, I will allow you to build a temple, and the Hindus like, were so excited, just yesterday, some Hindus, they post a comment in Facebook, they fire them, and they deport them from Emirat, You can post an, as many comments you want against the Hindus, against to India, and make fun of their, make fun of them as much as you want. But the second you are a Hindu or a Christian or whatever you are, you make a comment against Islam, they deport you. Always, Muhammadan, they play victims. Always. Do you remember when the Muslim, they play a video of me saying to a Muslim woman, suckle me? What is that was about? It's about playing victim, right? But the fact, the Muslim woman, she is the one who is speaking faithfully to me, and I was quoting for her, her prophet quotation. This is what they do. They play victims. They turn... The filthy women who was insulting Jesus, saying Jesus was doing sexual things to his mother, his mother breast. I was saying, in fact, it's your prophet who says a man, he can suckle a woman. Suckle me. The Muslim, they cut my video. They say Christian prince, a sexual predator. Victims. Bully. This is a bully religion. In order to cover the truth, they bully you, they frame you, they label you Islamophobe. I mean, who is the one who have a phobe? You have a phobia from the Hindus, you have a phobia from the Jews, you have a phobia from the Christians, you have a phobia from the atheists, you have a phobia from the gays, you have a phobia from the lesbian, you have a phobia from everything. Even lizard is your enemy. The prophet of Allah, he says, the one who kill a lizard, Allah will reward him. It's a lizard, you idiot. It's not even a, a rat. The lizard is the enemy of Allah. And the one who killed the lizard from the first hit, Allah will give him an extra reward. The black dog is the devil. The lizard is our enemy. The black bird is evil. The black horse is the devil. Kill every black animal. Shaitan is a black. This is what Islam is about. Phobia. Phobia and racism. And then they accuse you of what they have. 
Yesterday, if you remember, we made a video. I don't know how many of you saw it. A Muslim, they said to us, the Bible says, a man, he rape a woman, he marry her, which is not really accurate what it says. You can go and read the whole chapter and you will laugh about the lies they say. And then I asked the Muslim, are you saying this is disgusting? He said, absolutely is disgusting. And I said, so isn't it your prophet who raped Sophia and then he married her? He raped Juria and then he married her? They accuse you of their illness and they claim it's you who have it. So we, we need, and doesn't matter when I say we, I'm not talking about we as a Christians, all of us are human. You see, I don't believe in Hinduism. If you ask me, I will believe it. I will say Hinduism is a false belief. I don't care, you know, who would get upset. I'm not taking side here. I'm still stand for my belief. But we as a human, we should stand for what a human should have. If you are asking the Hindus, to give you citizenship, are you willing to give them citizenship? Are you willing to give all the millions who live in Saudi Arabia for 15, 20 years, not five years, huh? not five years, forget about five years, like in USA, forget about 10 years, what about 20 years, what about people who they are born and they grown as men in those countries, they cannot still have citizenship. Not only that, Do you know that you can work in Saudi Arabia, but you cannot die there? Do you know? I mean, look at the discrimination. Not only when you are alive, you cannot be a citizen, even when you are dead. A Hindu or a Christian or non-Muslim cannot be buried in the land of the Muslims, period. Let me show you. I mean, how far the discrimination can go. That you can work there, but you cannot die there. <laughs> Why? Because you are a Hindu. You are Christian, you are disgusting for them, you are, you are nudges, you are filthy, and yet they claim, they talk about, the, I mean, I cannot believe it that those people, they speak about discrimination. You can search right now about the law regarding people who die in Saudi Arabia, they cannot bury them unless they are Muslims. If he is a Hindu, they put him in a box, they put him in a freezer, and then his, they, they ship him to his country. Same for the Christians. Any Muslim can explain to us why? No answer. The guy is dead. I mean, you put him under the sand, he disappear. He will turn into dust. And then what they do? Human rights, governments, countries, they start saying, hey, I mean, come on, the guy is dead. Saudi Arabia is losing money. It's not like before. So as long as they have money, they will ship you 
but if you don't, then they might bury you. As long as we have money, we will ship you out. If you go right now and search human uh, uh, human rights reports, Qatar, Bahrain, Emirat, you know, nobody talk about it. But you will find in the news, in the human rights, discrimination against Muslims under their new citizenship. Well, how come you will mention only the Muslims? What about Christians who have no papers the same as the Muslims? They will be deported too. So why why it is about Muslims? Why are you fabricating news? Al Jazeera TV. Why Arab speaking out against Islamophobia in India? Why Arab don't speak against Christophobia in the Middle East? Black phobia in the Middle East. You know, when I used to live in the Middle East, they used to say, oh, he have bad, bad news the same as his black face, right on the government TV. Nobody complain. They make fun of any one religion. If you watch the month of Ramadan, they have Islamic uh, movies or series. Always the Jew is a guy with a big nose. He looked like a witch. He's a greedy. He loved money. The Christian is a guy who is always drunk, sleeping around, cheating with his wives. The Muslim is the one who is always praying to Allah. Alhamdulillah. He put his hand over his face. This is the Muslim. Isn't this a discrimination? Go to Morocco, go to Egypt, go to Saudi Arabia, go to Emirat. Prostitution, belly dancing, drinking. Even in Saudi Arabia where drinking is forbidden, they drink even alcohol. But you are the Christian who, you are the bad one who sleep around. You are the Hindu, you have no God, you have no God, you are stupid, you know, you are a bad person. We have God, you don't. You are an idol worshipper. Don't you kiss the black stone? You go to Afghanistan, they are so filthy there to the point they kidnap boys who they are good looking and they force them to dress like girls. And this is what became their career for the rest of their life. And after they dance, the leader, he will rape the kid. So I wanted to make this uh, video actually, because a person he said, so what do you think about the Indian discrimination for Muslims? And I was saying, okay, you know what? Few years ago, India used to have a Muslim president. Any, anyone here is an Indian? Who is Indian here? Can you give me the name of the Muslim president who was a Muslim president few years ago? So we can show his image. When you Muslims will have a, Hindu president in your country. You don't even have one citizen. A Muslim president. Do you see actually when you say that Hindus are, they, they say, I believe there's always discrimination. This is, can be true. I mean, you know, it's, it, it can happen. But to the point the Hindus, they accept to have a Muslim president, that is a very big credit. Here we go. People are posting the name. Let me search him. Thank you guys for helping me. So, do you see how bad the Hindus? I mean, the Hindus are so bad to the point they accepted a president who is a Muslim. A president. Do you know what president means?
This is him. So while in Islamic countries, they don't give one Hindu a citizenship. The Indian Hindus in India, they make a Muslim a president. I mean, obviously those Hindus are very bad people, right? How would they accept it to have a president who is a Muslim unless they are bad? People of discrimination. Did you see the Hindus go in the street, Allahu Akbar, or let us say the cow Akbar? In this case, maybe. I'm just joking. For having a Muslim president? No. They accept him. He is their president. He do what the president does. Nobody complain. When Indonesia have a Christian governor in Jakarta, guess what happened? As soon as possible, they accuse him of making fun of the Quran and they took him off of the job and they sent him to jail to serve for two years. For a very simple reason, he's a Christian. Do you see the hypocrisy? Trump, he speak about the Igor in China. Pence, he speak about the Igor in China, the Prime Minister of England. You know, I mean, all of them, Igor, Igor, Igor. But what about the Christians in China? They are in jail the same as the Igor. This is a regime, communist regime, they fight all religion. And actually, they are going after the Igor because they did many terrorist attack. Last time I was in China, I went to the Forbidden City. I don't know if any of you have been there. When you walk in the street, you will see there is a new set of security in front of the Forbidden City. They have a very powerful column for protection. Why? Because many attack happened by the Igor terrorist driving over the crowd who is waiting to enter into the forbidden city you can go and search it right now so when the chinese they arrest a terrorist and not only that they say to you that there's one million agor in jail i mean why you don't make it 100 million i mean what you will lose just add a few zeros I mean, the lies cannot, it's impossible how stupid we can be to believe in such a lie. One million. We go or Igor, who care? I like to say it Igor. I changed their name now. Take it or leave it. We are Arab. We don't believe in democracy. <laughs> we can change even your name. We change the name of, uh, of Jesus to Isa. Amran to Amram, the father of the father of uh, of uh, Abraham to uh, to to Azar. Hello. When you want people to treat you equally, shouldn't you believe first that we are equal? I challenge you to find one Muslim is innocent. You know, he's a real Muslim. He believes in Muhammad, he believes in the Quran. He agree that people are equal. Actually, the Quran says clearly we are not equal. The Quran says that non-Muslims are equal to animals. Kal an'am. As what? Kal an'am, the same as animals. Are you sure? Well, Christian Prince, you are lying. It doesn't say that CP. There's a video actually made by a guy, his name, I think, Da'wa something from, he lived in England. He had a Mercedes Benz behind him and a bunch of cows in a farm next to him. And he said, brothers and sisters, this is how the kuffar are. What the benefit of them? What the benefit of this kuffar, brothers and sisters? They are the same as the Quran says, they are the same as this cow. The phone he is using is made by the kuffar. The car he is driving is made by the kuffar. The country he lived in 
is run by the Kuffar, and he is a refugee who came to this country, to the land of the Kuffar. And now what is the benefit of the Kuffar? When a Muslim he speak about his religion, <clears throat> and he asks for equality. Where is the equality in Islam? Do you know that according to Islam, if a man he is a Muslim and he killed non-Muslim, he will not be killed. Do you know that the penalty of killing non-Muslim in Iran is $420? While killing a Muslim, the punishment is death. Your blood is equal to the price of a half cow in Iran. The Quran says we are the same as cattle, and the Muslims they teach their children that we are. The Quran says, Wa al mushrikuna najis. Those who they are non Muslims are najis. What najis mean? Filthy. Dirty. Imagine if you go in India and the president he says, Oh, Muslims are dirty. Oh, Allahu Akbar and Trump, he will make sanctions in India right away. You are dirty. No go zoom. You see, they say that in certain time in South Africa, there was a bus for the white and bus for the black. Obviously, a very disgusting discrimination system. Well, the Muslim, they practice this until now. If we go right now and search in Google, with no shame, you will see, the sign says in the highway, Muslims only. Can you believe it? Imagine if we have a sign in New York or any, any, any city in USA saying uh, Jewish only, Christians only, gays only. <laughs> It's okay. And the funny CNN, they said, well, they, they are lying about no go zone. This is not a true. This is not a true. You idiot. Go right now to Google. In red color to non Muslims. In a green color, Muslims only. Why it is a green for the Muslims and it is red for us? Because Muslims will go to heaven. It's a green. And we all will go to hell. It is red. What if the Prime Minister of India right now, he make a highway for Hindus only and a highway for Muslims only? Disgusting scumbag you are, racist, filthy, coward. Hmm? Are you sure? Yes, it's obvious. This is discrimination. They can do it, you cannot do it. They do it and nobody talk about it. You see, the, 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 we, we live today in the media, everybody is politically correct. And because they knew, if you say something against Islam, the, 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 the gate of hell will open on you because shaitan is behind it, Satan is behind it. The second you say, there's a liberal woman, she's an African-American, she's liberal. She said something about like, I made a video about it, I don't know if you saw it in Facebook. Uh, like Muslim leaders, they ignite their, their followers with the hate 
and they go use their body uh, for violence. Everybody went against her. She should be fired. She is Islamophobe. But this is the truth. And then the guy, his name, the Dory Show, stupid idiot, he said, huh, what she's talking about? The guy he never heard. He never heard of Saddam Hussein putting the word Allahu Akbar, kill the infidels. He never heard of Al-Khomeini giving the keys for the one who killed the enemies. He never heard of Jihad. He never heard of Taliban. He never heard of Al-Qaeda. He never heard of ISIS. He never heard of all Islamic countries practicing hate, encouraging people to go for Jihad. When Turkey, the president of Turkey, he launched his attack in Syria, he was reciting Quran. There's tons of videos in YouTube. You will see that the Sheikh is reciting Quran for the Turkish soldiers who the stupid European, they keep saying they are liberals, 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 liberals. They are so liberals to the point they have to kiss the Quran before they go to war. And what the Quran says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Muslims in India, they are warned and threatened to make an Islamic state. Well, they will do it if they, if, if, if they can. Why not? You see, one of, the, uh, one, of, one of the things about Islam, and maybe many people, they will not understand, that when they became a big major number, they will destroy the country. Actually, look at India. India is not India today. India is Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India today. Look what happened to India. A great exa example. Look what happened to Cyprus. Turkish workers came to Cyprus. They are not citizens. They are not from there. When their population became bigger, they took half of the country, stole it. Look what happened to Lebanon. Lebanon used to have zero Muslims. A war erupted. Tens of thousands were killed because Muslims, they want to build an Islamic state. But people will not learn. People are stupid. People, they are like donkeys. They notice it happened only when you are in the top of them. Uh oh, he did drive me. You know what I mean? Why you want to be like a donkey? You, not, you don't notice that this guy is going to ride you until he ride you. They go as refugee to you to UK and then they want to, they want to take over UK and then they don't want to force people to what to eat and what to drink. In Sweden they cancel they cancel festival of pork. Why? Because this is offending the Muslims. Stupid. I don't blame the Muslim by the way. I blame those donkeys who let this happen. No borders. Everybody is coming in 50, 60 years from now, or maybe a hundred years. All those European, they will become taxi drivers for those who came to their country. Because they will become the majority and the native, they will become the minority. Doesn't matter, by the way, they are Muslims or not. Let us say, I am a Christian, Arab Christian, and you say to me, there's no border. So now we will go, all of us Arab Christians, we go to your country and you became minority. And then we are the president, we are the government, and you obey. What kind of a garbage this garbage is? They lost and they are losing their land. So the Indian, they are protecting their territory. They have a huge population. They cannot even feed. They have people sleeping in the street. So when they say, if you are an immigrant and you are not from here, if you don't have papers, go leave. Oh, this is discrimination against the Muslims. Every day, Saudi Arabia deport or deport hundreds of people, if not thousands, including Indian, Indonesian, from many countries. How come nobody saying this is not legal? You cannot have a citizenship in Saudi Arabia, even if you live for 50 years, unless you are a Muslim. Even if you live a hundred years. Since the time of Muhammad until now, zero person is a Christian or Hindu or a Buddha or atheist citizen. Can you believe it? Have you ever heard of a country, normal country, not like a country of monks like Vatican, all the countries, zero non-Muslims, zero gay, 
zero lesbian, zero atheist, zero Christian, zero Hindu, zero Buddha. Because simply they are very, very tolerant and they are not people of discrimination, brother. We don't discriminate you. You see the stupidity? So I wanted to make this video to correct things. And I'm not saying, by the way, that in India you might find a discrimination even against Christians. That can happen always when there's a majority and there's a minority. It can happen. But there's a huge difference between discriminating because religion you believe in is teaching you to discriminate, and that is Islam. If you ask a Muslim, what is the punishment of death for non-Muslims? He will say to you, depend on the condition, brother. If you are paying to, to us to protect you, then the one who kill you, we will kill him. Because you paid us money. But if you don't pay us money, and he kill you, then he will pay the half a price of the blood for a Muslim. Half a price of the blood, why is that half a human being? Muhammad he said, no Muslim will be killed for killing a non-Muslim. So imagine the Indian Prime Minister now, Modi, he made a law says, no Hindu will be killed for killing a Muslim. How come if we practice Sharia law on Hindus, it is very good? But if we switch the Sharia law, the same law exactly, and we make it on Muslims, is going to be discrimination. You know what I'm saying? If we take, let us, see, let us show you the hadith. Give me a second. Let us see the filth with the reference. We will open one of the book of filth. And here we go, in front of you. I mean, do you see the equality of life and and the Muslim, they will quote for you, and even Obama, he quote for us, it says, it's written in the Quran that if you kill one innocent soul, as if you killed all mankind, but they will not tell you that Muslim believe innocent soul is a Muslim. Obama was quoting that. If you kill one innocent soul, as if you killed all mankind, but they will not tell you that innocent only in Islam are Muslims. If you remember, there was an interview with the guy from who live in England, he's from Pakistan. Anyone remember his name? Kawadri, what is his name? He went to jail for terrorism too. They asked him in the BBC interview, do you condemn the killing of innocent people in the street in England? He said, oh, okay, well, first of all, when you say innocent, uh, we talk about Muslims. This is the truth. When you say innocent, we are speaking about Muslims. This is the innocent. It's forbidden for us to kill innocent people. If you are not a Muslim, you are guilty. Actually, I can find the interview right now. Hold on. Give me a second. And by the way, after all what we say, do you think people will listen? Eh. They will not. Because to these days, we have the culture of donkeys, which is called be politically correct. Here we go. This is from the BBC. Uh, let us get the right one.
I mean, it's hard to believe what happened to the European people. They lost their mind. They became so stupid. And I believe they are punished. They are going to be punished. You know, European and Europe is going to be punished badly. And Islam is the punishment. Those people, if they don't repent, Islam will be the punishment for them. And then they deserve it. You brought, you brought it to yourself. Uh, I'm trying to find the video because there's too many videos of this uh, Shawadri, Kawadri stuff. Okay, here we go. I think we found it. Let us uh, put it for you in the screen. Give me a second. Remember, brothers and sisters, in Islam, brothers and sisters, it's forbidden to kill an innocent man. It's totally forbidden. Totally forbidden, brother. Hmm? Totally forbidden. But they will not tell you that when they mean, when they say innocent, they mean only Muslims. Attacks in London. Our first reaction as Muslims was, why did this take place in London? And uh, what have we done to make ourselves in a position where people are wanting to throw bombs or to detonate bombs? No, he, no, he needs to justify. Okay, why this? What happened? He will say to you, you support Israel. You say, what, so what does this have to do with people in the street? You coward, you want to do jihad, you go live in the country, and you are living in welfare, they pay you for your apartment, they pay you for your food, they give you food stamp, free electricity, free education for your kids, for wives they go, all their kids go for school for free. And now he is telling you why he is going to kill you. I want to see where he asked him about the king of innocent people. The leader of... Mahajarun. He said, going back to 2004, in a Portuguese magazine, and I quote, there are freelancers ready to launch Al-Qaeda-style attack. Let us see, I'm trying to find where he said that, that statement. Uh, up to a million uh, Muslims. Okay, hold on. Don't condemn it when you're a... I will go. In this part. Because the video is long, I don't want to play it all. Policy, you right, can't but, uh, I think we've established you down. will not you condemn can't. it. I just wonder why you won't condemn it when your own leader, Omar Bakri, said quite simply, I condemn the killing of innocent people on the 20th of July. Yeah, why won't you say what he said? No, at the, at the end of the day, innocent people, when we say innocent people, we mean Muslims. As far as uh, non-Muslims are concerned, they have, uh, they have not accepted Islam. As far as we're concerned, that is a crime against God. I want but, to be clear uh, about what you're saying. As, this as is very important. People, you're no, saying that me, only Muslims can it, count as count. innocent people. As far as Muslims are concerned, you're innocent if you, if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are a non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes, there were many victims. You're guilty. They're, guilty. They're, they're guilty are you not... did, you, did you hear it? Did you hear it? But every single Muslim, he quote for us the verse, which is about Musa, by the way, not about Muhammad. That Allah, he told Musa, if a person, he called one innocent man, as if he called all mankind. But then when you read the interpretation, you will see what they meant there is only Muslims. And Muhammad, he made it clear, I've been ordered and commanded to kill all mankind until they say Shahada and convert to Islam. Now, there's no discrimination here. If you are not a Muslim, you are a criminal. Even if you are a kid, even if you are an eight years old woman, you are guilty. Let me make it. Count Let me count. Innocent as far as Muslims are concerned, you're innocent if you if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes, there were many victims. You're guilty. They're, guilty. They're, they're guilty. Are you seriously believing... suggesting that everybody on those tube trains and on that bus in London? Are... <laughs> My friends. Islam is a gang system. And Islam should be forbidden. Because as you see, Islam make people follow hate and kill. Believe that anyone is not a Muslim should be killed. 
So each time you have a leader in Europe or in America, hypocritely, saying that Islam means peace, spit in their face. Expose them. The Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. You know, when the Muslim they mentioned to you the crusade, how many times we heard the crusade? But then what they will tell you, that the crusade never happened until the Muslims attacked us first. Can you believe it? The crusade! Allahu Akbar, do you remember, brother, the crusade and the criminal of the crusade? You came to our land. You raped our women. You took our money. You burned our churches. And you convert them to mosque in the best scenario. And you force us to pay jizya. And you occupy us for hundreds of years. And then when we fight back, we are bad. Because Muslim can take your land. They can rape your wife, but you cannot do anything to them. If you fight back, you are hateful, disgusting. You are the crusade. And the filthy liberals, they side with the Muhammad and they say the crusade was bad. Have you ever heard of such a logic? I'm staying in my home. Then a bunch of Muslims attack me. They kick me out of my home. They kill me. They take my wife. They enslave my children. They take all my furniture, all my money, all my yard. And then, if my cousin one day try to get my house back and free my wife, he is an evil person. That is Islam, my friend. So when Muhammad and they speak uh, about racism, Islam is a religion of racism. If you want to be or to claim that you are against racism, start from yourself. Somebody asking about Bahrain making a peace deal with Israel. My friend, those are not peace deals. Those are protection deals. Muslims don't believe in peace. The Quran forbid Muslims to have peace with non-Muslims. Only you can do that temporarily. Taqiyya, protection, lying. The Quran says so. When the Quran says, never cry for peace when you are the upper hand. So, those who they are signing for peace now, they are the one who don't have the upper hand. And because they are threatened by Iran, the Shia country neighbor, they are seeking protection from the Jews. It's not because they love the Jews, they need the Jews. So, those countries are trying to get protected by Israel and America. Because now America will have more interest to protect those countries. They are the one who signing peace agreement with Israel. So they are not signing peace agreement because they believe in peace, but because it is a necessity for the time. Otherwise, the Quran says it clearly in chapter 3, verse 139. Cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. Never cry for peace. So what does that mean? If you are not superior, okay, sign peace temporarily. The same as Muhammad did. Until he got ready and he slaughtered everybody. So only fool can accept and believe that the Jews and the Muslims, they sign a peace agreement. That is not a peace agreement. This is temporarily agreement if one day Emirat became big strong powerful they will eat the Jews with no salt same for Jordan Egypt all of them they sign a peace agreement because they cannot go for war they cannot fight them for now but time might change Muhammad he said that time will come and the Muslims will kill all the Jews in the world. To the point, if a Jew hide behind a tree,
or a stone. The stone and the tree, they will say there's a Jew behind me, kill him. <clears throat> uh, you see, I don't have a, I don't have a real keyboard in Arabic, so I'm trying to find the letter. Can you believe it now? Read this letter, how we can get it. Maybe if we do this, let us see. No. I'm not sure how we can. Okay, let us see. I cannot find the letter to type the word, you believe it? Let us try this. Okay, it's success, even we wrote the word wrongly. Oh, here we go. This is the hadith in the front of your eyes. The Messenger of Allah said, The last hour will not come until the Muslim fight against the Jews, until the Jews, a Jew, will hide himself behind a stone or a tree. And then the stone or the tree will say, Oh, Muslims, there is a Jew behind me. Come and kill him. Do you see it? So I am afraid actually that those agreement they will make the Israelis stupid. They will believe it. Somehow I think that those agreements are more dangerous than war. Because now the Jews relax. Oh we have peace agreement with Egypt. Oh now we have signed agreement with the Emirat and the Bahrain and tomorrow with Saudi Arabia. So they go to sleep and then Muhammad will come to them when they are in their sleep. So if you ask me, I say that peace agreement is always good. The Lord, the Messiah, he said to bless those who spread peace, right? So peace, peace is, 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 is wonderful, but we are not fools. They don't believe in peace. If the government of Emirat, they announce they are not Muslims no more, and the population became Hindus, Buddhas, Christians, I then I can believe it. But the Quran is so clear. Muhammad is so clear. And those people, they worship one man, his name is Muhammad. If he says something and Allah says something, they follow Muhammad. And this is why I say, only fool, they believe in this. Uh, Adnan, if you are here to debate with us or to talk, you are more than welcome. If you are here to call names, no problem. Guys, look, let me show you what Adnan he said. Ah, all the prophet too? Okay, Adnan, take, bye-bye, take a hike. Okay, I thought you are a Muslim. You are using a Muslim name for what then? You are an atheist. Uh, <clears throat> so, to make it simple, my friend. Islam is a religion of phobia. Phobia from lizard. Phobia from a cross. Phobia from pork. Phobia from pig. Phobia from Hindus. Phobia from atheist, gays, lesbian, Christian, Bible, anything. And yet they accuse you of you discriminating them. In your country, in your country, Muslims are treated better than you, which means in your country, which is not Islamic, they really discriminate you and they support Muslims. Just yesterday, we saw the video of Hatun. The police took her out when they should take out the Muslims who they are attacking her. Coward. They took her out for her safety? What about the one who caused the, the problem? A woman, she is not even four foot tall. She is the problem? So you are discriminated now because we have hypocrite leaders 
And this is why it's very important to go and vote. You see, the problem is that people, they are politically correct. If you go to Europe right now, they say to, you say to them, what do you think about Trump? They say Trump is a racist. Why he's racist? Oh, he uh, banned six Islamic countries. Well, Muslim, they ban us, all of us. Which one of those Islamic countries allow you to go fly there without visa? Which one of those countries allow you to cross the borders and they give you later papers and they will give you free food and you can stay there and you can work? None of them. Actually, those six countries are banned by Emirat. They are banned by Bahrain. They are banned by Saudi Arabia. How come when they ban them, and they are Muslims, they are not racist? And those countries are banned by Obama himself because Trump, he just re-signed the same order. It was going to expire. Stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is amazing. They accuse you of what they do. How many Indians are deported from Saudi Arabia just this to date, every morning? Oh, deporting, deporting Mexican. Well, Mexican, they deport American too, if they are illegal there. <laughs> this is what all countries do in the world, you idiot. If you go to Mexico and you have no papers and the police, they find about you, what they do? They put you in jail and they deport you. What does this have to do with racism? If a Mexican police, he arrests me in Mexico and says, hey, where's your visa? I say, I came through the borders. What he would do to me? He would arrest me because I broke the law. So in Europe, we have a huge population of stupid, uneducated people. Anything for them, they are so much liberals to the point they became empty, like a vacuum machine after you clean it from the back inside. Islam is a great religion, nothing wrong with Islam. So who is, who is the one attacking the Christmas? Oh, those are terrorists. Uh -huh. Well, is it Muhammad who says, I am terrorist too? Is it Muhammad who said, I've been victorious by terror? Is it Muhammad who says, I've been ordered to kill all mankind and they are doing what Muhammad said? So they are terrorists, those guys, and Muhammad is not a terrorist. We need a lot of education. I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey. How far? One month journey. Is that authentic? Absolutely. Every Muslim agree with this hadith that the Prophet, he scared his enemies for one month journey by terror. I, I've been helped by terror. Many Muslim, I am not coming clear. Guys, you don't hear me good? If you don't hear me good, I think you have a problem from your side because I, my internet here is speed is very good actually. It's extremely high, which is weird. How is my voice coming, guys? So in order for us to fight racism, which is a duty for us as a Christians, and I encourage everybody from any religion to fight racism, we should apply a law which is for all of us, not only made for certain people. You see, like now there is a there is a group, it's called Black Lives Matter. Those are racist. Why? Because you are saying life of others doesn't matter. All life matter. We should, all of us, protect each other. For we are one community. And we as a Christians, we believe there's nothing that's called the black and white. There's nothing that's called the Asian. We are the children of God. The best way to fight, actually, racism is to be a believer in Christ. 
because you cannot be a believer in Christ and be in the same time a racist. You cannot be a person who follow Christ and you hate others. You see, we are speaking about Islam, but we don't hate Muslims. I cannot hate Muslims because that will make me, will cast me out of the belief of Christ immediately. Racism is Islam. And this is why you see many of those who use racism for their agenda, they side with Islam. Because Islam is a perfect fit. They claim that Muslims are victims in USA. Why? George Bush right away after 9-11, to protect the Muslims from any harm. He went to the mosque, he says, Islam is peace. Islam doesn't teach this. I mean, imagine, this is the president of USC, and suppose he's a Christian, he go to the mosque, defend Muslims, says those Muslims, they are not the one who did it, this is not even Islam teaching, which is a lie. Islam is teaching this. But yes, those who they are here, they are not, not to be blamed. We go after the terrorist. We don't encourage violence against somebody just because he's a Muslim, that's not right. So where is the victims? Where is the one discriminated? They have equal right to me. They go and vote. They get citizenship. They have protection of the police. They have the right to build their mosque. They have the right to pray. They have, all, actually not only that, they give them more rights. Muslim, they can open a little room as a mosque in university. A Christian, he cannot. Can you believe it? Which means actually they are discriminating Christians in the land of Christianity. Just because we are the minority, I'm sorry, the majority, we lose our privilege of being majority. They give the privilege for the minority. In the Middle East, it's the opposite. In the Middle East, if you are the minority, they step on you. They eat you alive. So my friends, I hope what we spoke about today is a good education we love the Muslims, but Islam is racism. Do you know that Islam teach that the, 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 the devil is black? Just to show you the stupidity in the West, and, and the liberals specifically. Once I posted the hadith about Muhammad saying shaitan is black. A Muslim, he answered, saying, have you ever heard of a black is, is, is not white? Facebook took my post because I said, are you stupid? So you are saying that angels are only white and black, they are all evil? Facebook banned me, not the Muslim. Can you believe it? Liberals, the most dangerous species because they became like, they lost their humanity, they lost their mind, they lost their, they became a species from different galaxy. I mean, I am the one saying to him, you stupid, how you say all black are evil just because they are black? They ban me and side with the Muslims. Can you believe it? For those who they are saying they want to contact me, my friend, if you want to contact me to say hi, hello, save yourself, I don't have time for this. However, you can subscribe to my Patreon, and then you can email me if it is something important. All right? But I cannot answer everybody. As you know, I have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. Should I continue? Of people who listen, and then it's impossible to answer everybody. If you have a question here, you know, ask it here. Actually, I prefer that people ask me questions here so everybody can get the benefit. You know, in Malaysia, they forbid even the Christian from using the word Allah. I mean, the Muslim, they keep saying to us, Allah is your God too. Allah is the God of the world. Uh -huh. Is he? A Arab Christian, they use the word Allah. That's a false translation for the Bible. Uh, so we go then, we find that when the Muslim notice a lot of Muslims leave, <coughs> leave in Islam, 
they come with the law to forbid Christians from using the word Allah. Is that discrimination? I mean, imagine even a word I cannot use. Can you believe it? Even a word, a word, I mean, don't know, it's own, this is owned by us. You cannot use Allah. You cannot. Allah is only for Muslims. You use the word Allah, we will take you to jail and you will stay 15 years there. I mean, do you see the freedom? There's no discrimination. Even using the word Allah, a guy, he's a Christian, he says, Allah is my God, which is a stupid to say, by the way. Go to jail, because this is only the name of the God of Islam, brother. There's no discrimination in Islamic countries. You know, when there's a guy in YouTube, I don't know if you heard of him, his name is a Christian Prince. When he say stupidity is amazing, he mean it. And he have big reason to believe that it's amazing. Can a Muslim call in? Well, I'm not planning really to take calls of Muslims today. Uh, maybe tomorrow you can call me when I go live. We will see what the topic. You yeah, guys, leave your comment and tell me what do you think about what we said. Don't forget to download the video, share it. And by the way, I'm not siding with the Hindus. I'm not siding with the Christians. I'm not siding with the truth. Hindus, there's very wonderful people, very nice people, and there's bad people, the same as some people claim to be Christian, the same as Muslims. But if you are talking about equality and racism, Islam sponsor racism, encourage racism. So if you want the Muslims to be logical, can we be logical, all of us, not only the Muslims? The logic of the Muslims is if you make a law saying that you cannot take a citizenship if you are from a certain religion and you are immigrant, this is discrimination. Can you make the same law in your country so Hindus can take citizenship too? So finally, we can find one Hindu in Saudi Arabia, he is a citizen? You will not do it. So hypocrisy is the practice. What they are seeking is dominating, not justice. They want to take over a country, but they will not let you be a citizen in their country. They can flood your country and take citizenship, and if you don't allow them, you are a racist but they will not let you get a citizenship if you are a Hindu, even if you live in Saudi Arabia for 1,000 years. After 1,400 years of Muhammad, there is zero Christian, zero Hindu, zero Buddha, zero atheist, zero gay, zero lesbian, zero atheist in this country. Why? Because there's no discrimination there, brother. And this is the case for the rest. How many Hindus we have as citizen in Qatar? Zero. Bahrain, zero. Emirat, zero. I'm talking about citizens, not people who work there. Zero. So if India is racist and the Hindu are racist, then why the Hindus, they have a president who was a Muslim just a few years ago? Huh? When we will see a president for uh, Iraq, he's a Jew. There's Iraqi Jew. A president for Syria, he is a Christian. There's a Christian in Syria. This is the, actually, this is the land of the Christians. The Muslims, they stole it. Where we are going to find the president of Egypt, he's a Christian. The origin native people of Egypt are the Coptic Christian. When the last time we have a president, he is a Christian. Never happened, would never happen since the time of the occupation of Islam. But in India, a president was a Muslim few years ago. 
And yet they accuse Indian to be racist. And they accuse Indian uh, to be bad. You see, actually me myself, when I heard the news that in India, the president, he is a Muslim, I said to myself, I mean, that's, this is weird. I mean, those Hindus, they suffer a lot because of Islam. More than 80 million killed by Islamic invasion. And those Hindus, they accept a Muslim president? Abdul Kalam, Azad, from a poor boy to the president of India. Do you see how bad the, the Hindus? They say they are racist, right? What if they are racist? They will not accept. They are the majority. They are the one who decide who is the president. If not the Hindus' approval, this guy will never be even working in the post office. Is that true? If not the Hindus' approval, this guy will not be even an employee in a garbage cleaning in the street because they are the majority. They control everything. So what we are saying here, that Hindus, there is some Hindus might be racist. There is some Christian, they claim to be Christian, they are racist too. There is everywhere racist. But when we see the majority voting for someone, he is from the minority. And not only he is from a minority, he is from a minority which caused him a lot of bloodshed. That is something special. They say America is racist, so who made Obama president? If 90% or more of the population are white, who made Obama president? The white people. How that can be how they can be racist then? So we have many proof that they are racist and they implement their racism on us but you cannot practice Islam on them. If I ask a Muslim now, can I practice your Islamic law on you, the same as you practice it on me, they say no. Muhammad says, no Muslim will be killed for killing non-Muslim. Can we make the law? Can we, is that a perfect law? He said, yes, absolutely. Okay, can we make a law says, we just switch names. No Christian will be killed, or no Hindu will be killed, or no atheist will be killed for killing a Muslim. Can we do that? No, this is not the justice. This is not right. This is disgusting. This is racism. One thousand two hundred Indonesian girls went missing and killed in Saudi Arabia. Until now, the Saudi, they did not find one killer. Indonesia stopped all employment to Saudi Arabia for some time because of this. Why they could not find the killer? The answer is very simple. They are Indonesian poor people. If an American citizen was killed all the department of police will be searching for the killer. But if it is an Indonesian made poor woman, even if she is a Muslim, she got raped, she got dumped in the desert, they cannot find the killer. Why? She is Indonesian Asian. That is the truth. Actually, all the media are racist. When a black man killed in America, the whole world move. When a black man killed in Islamic country, nobody talk about it. There's more than 20,000 slaves as we speak in Libya in the camp right now for sale. Nobody talk about it. Saudi royal family, princes in Emirat, they own literally slaves. Human trafficking is one of the biggest business in Emirat. Nobody talk about it.
when Iraq have a war with Saddam Hussein, sorry, with, the, with Kuwait, if you remember, and Saddam Hussein, he invade uh, uh, Kuwait. Everybody want to send his army to free Kuwait. Uh, when Rwanda was burning, and more than 600,000 killed, and many, they are burned alive. Not a single army was sent to protect that country. Eh, they are poor African. Let them die. Do they have oil? If you have oil, we'll come. <laughs> this is the truth. The truth is disgusting. So most of those who speak about racism, they are a fraud. If you are a black person and you've been abused, they use you for propaganda, like now in the election. This poor George Floyd, he died and he don't have a $25 in his pocket. After he died, they put him a coffin covered by gold. I mean, where was your gold when he was alive? Where was your attention when he was homeless? Where was your attention when he don't have food for his kids? Suddenly, everybody in love with George, because why? They want to use it for propaganda. So there's a huge difference between fighting against racism and using racism as a political card. What we see in the world today is a political card agenda of racism. They use you. They use you as a black person for their agenda, but they don't care for you. Obama was in the office for eight years. What he did to the black people, nothing. Not even a single person in his cabinet is a black. Trump, he made investment zone for the black people. Billions of dollars, no tax. Imagine, I wish, I wish in the area I'm living here, they say no tax here. Look what, what, what Trump, he did. he did what nobody did. He gave a special fund for black colleges, which nobody gave. They do not need to beg for it every year. You have it guaranteed. You do not need to request next year. You do not need to beg us, please help us. Every year we'll have it. So the black kids, they can have better education. He made a reform for jail because many, they are poor African American, they are victims of their crimes and they did it for the first time. Give them a chance to live. Give them a chance to go and find a job. Give them a chance to make living again. Give them a chance to be free. They make a mistake. He did that. Where have they been all those years to help the black people? Nobody there. And yet they claim that Trump is racist. It is propaganda, agenda. And if you are a fool, you believe in what they say. Remember one thing. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Trump, he never claimed to be an angel, but he hurt the black a lot. You cannot call him a racist. You cannot. It's a lie. Economy is bad. Economy is still so good until now, even after the, 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 the COVID-19. Go and see many countries. They are collapsing. Business are shut down. There's nothing. People, they cannot, they cannot even eat. I saw a video about uh, Philippines. A taxi driver, he was saying to the guy, the blogger, you are the first one I got after six hours waiting in the front of the airport. In the Philippines, guys, to get a taxi, you need to fight to get one. The country is dying. There's no jobs. There's nobody. Nobody in the street. And then they say to you that Trump, he destroyed the economy. How can that be true? So racism is ugly, but racism used by agenda as card is more ugly and disgusting. And we will not let ha that happen. Be truthful, don't side with anyone. Don't side with Trump, don't side with the liberal, side with the truth. And the truth will set you free. And I say to us as a Christians first, and to everybody who is listening, if you are a racism, if you are racist, you have a mental issue. Trust me. 
There's wonderful people in every race, and there's bad people in every race. Start from yourself. So if you think all black people are bad, or some of them they are bad, and some of them don't, there is bad individuals, and there's good individual. There's a good white man, there's a bad white man, individual. Don't judge by color. Let him treat you. If he treats you good, he's good. If he treats you bad, he's bad. And the color is not there. We see colors only when we are racist. Each time I go outside, you know, I'm, I'm a person, I'm, you know me, I am not, I am very shy to talk to people. So I talk to people wherever I go. And uh, yesterday I was talking to a black person. He is from, he, he's, he's coming from like a different state. And uh, we have a, you know, we, we, I was looking for a short to buy. And we have a conversation about short. And then we start talking about God. Imagine from short to God. <laughs> and the guy, he said, I said, okay, well, uh, nice to meet you. He said, hey, you know, can I company walk with you? I said, sure. So he walked with me to the car just because he wanted to listen more. He wanted to talk to me more. And he said, you know, I, I really enjoy talking to you. I don't have too many friends. Can we be friends? I said, sure, we can be friends. You know, wonderful man. I am not black, he is black. We found things in common. Very nice person. I did not mind to have him as a friend. Who cares if he's black? I have people who help me in my life, they are black. And they were so good to me, better than my white cousin, who was my cousin. What does this have to do with being good and bad? People, they grow in certain ways for, cer for certain reasons. As an example, if you live in a poor community, there's no education, everybody is doing drugs. So what do you expect from the kid? And that can happen to you too, not because he's black. If you live in a, in a house, your mother is a drug dealer, your father is a drug dealer, and then what you will be? You will be a drug dealer mostly. It's about opportunity, not about the human himself. Human is the same as a plant. If you put it in the sun, you put the, the right watering, the right light, he flourish. He give good fruits. If you take the sun away or the water away or any of the element of a flourishing, he will die. He will be something bad. And that doesn't matter if he's black or white or Asian. People, my friend, can be wonderful and they can be evil and their color has nothing to do with that. And the Lord is our best guide to fight racism. From their fruit, you shall know them. Not from their color, not from their name. The Lord wisdom is the best to fight racism. I wanna say thank you all of you. Fight racism with us. Give the Hindus the right to be citizen in Iraq. Citizen in Syria, citizen in Jordan, citizen in Egypt, citizen in Saudi Arabia, in Emirat, United Arab Emirates, Iran. And then you tell me about giving you citizenship because if you believe in equality, practice equality, otherwise you are a hypocrite. If you want them to give you citizenship because you are who you are, then do you, are you willing to give them citizenship too? If yes, then you are right. If no, that means you are a hypocrite. And this is my message for today. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. My love to people in India. I have a lot of Hindus. They are wonderful people from India. Very nice people. I, if I disagree with Hindu as a, as, a, as a belief, well, I am a Christian and they understand. I mean, they don't agree with me many things too. That's normal. But doesn't mean that we will not love each other. We love the Hindus. We appreciate them. And we invite them to accept the Christ at the same time because they are priceless. You see, we don't invite the Muslims and the Hindus and the atheists unless we think you are valuable for God. If you are no one, we don't invite you. If we look at you down, we will not say we have, we have the best for you. No, because we love you, we invite you to the best because you are valuable, not because we discriminate you or we look at you down. 
but because we look at you high we say we have the highest he is welcoming you the king of the kings his name is jesus the christ the king of the kings himself is saying knock at my door and i will open for you we don't look at you down we look at you so high to the point that the lord the high the almighty he is going to hug you and says come to me come to me those who they are tired and i will comfort you knock at my door and i will open for you that is my lord if your lord teach to love others well i don't blame you to believe in him but if your lord teach you to discriminate to hate to think you are higher than others that is obviously a devilish god thank you very much everybody may the lord bless you may the lord protect you all may the lord bless the hindus and the muslims the atheists everybody and may the lord help them to see the truth and the truth will set them free thank you very much christ is lord islam is false and it's a racist cult guarantee but still we love the muslims and we will never fail to the hate trap of muhammad to hate each other Love the Muslim, don't hate them. Otherwise, you became a member of Muhammad gang, the racist gang. There's many Muslims, they have no idea what Islam is about. They are born in a Muslim family. They have no crime. They did not do anything wrong. So don't judge them wrong just because their name is Muhammad. From their fruit, you judge them. And that goes for everybody. Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, Muslims fruit my friend however the fruit of Muhammad is disgusting so we can't judge him he is the devil himself he is evil with no question he have nothing good in him and he is Satan prove me wrong tomorrow we will be live again maybe tomorrow maybe today too I don't know uh, subscribe join us and follow what we do thank you and again God bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and we we'll see you soon again bye bye